Hello, welcome back to Blue Harvest Toys. We've got this. This is brand new. This has just come out, believe it or not. We're going to have a look at it. But I want as a bonus, I've got this as well. I've had this for some time. Uh, the Lost Journal of Indiana Jones. We're going to have a quick look through this. This came out in about 2008, I think, when um, Crystal Skull came out. And we've looked at the, the Grail Diary, and a lot of things that are in the Grail Diary are in this as well. But this, I could have, I was going to use this to make my own Grail Diary. This, um, this is the Journal of Indy, though, not, um, not Henry Jones Senior. So it's not the Grail Diary. So we've got Indy's mother there. But it does start off with we've got that picture again. It does start off with young Indy. Um, I just thought it'd be quite interesting. So we go through Young Indy. If you have not seen Young Indy Chronicles, go watch that. It's sometimes very, very slow, <laughs> but it's not bad. It's all right. Um, this, obviously, this has been, this book has been um, found by the Russians. So there's all like little marks, little notes in the, from the Russians. And there's... They just torn out this diary. Yeah, uh, that's intentional. Uh, grave robber or archaeologist. <laughs> so the Honduran government. So it's, it's quite interesting, actually. It's a good read. Uh, there's something for Kieran. He likes his willy. Um, Bangkok Palace. There's this uh, manuscript. So this is obviously Temple of Doom before Raiders because that's how it happened. So we're starting off with Temple of Doom. So, I mean, this is really good. This is, um, it's quite interesting if you don't have this, have you not seen this? There's the menu. You can hear the background. It's actually torrential rain outside at the moment. I know that's, that's a bit boring for this video. So I just quickly go through this, there's this wrap. <laughs> it's quite, it is really good. I quite like this book. It's really interesting. So we'll quickly go through Temple of Doom. Um, we're going through to uh, Raiders. I think somebody's drawn in there. I don't know why. So there's there's the. That's what it actually looks like the uh, the temple where the idol is. Um, you see my Lego build. It's more or less straight, but it's not. Now, I, I wanted to do that in. Um, I've said it before, in, uh, in Perspex, in, at school, I wanted to make that as a puzzle. Yeah, well, you know. The thing in my head looked better than it actually came out. Um, you can see the resemblance now between you and the monkey from Marion. Somebody's drawn Marion there. That's a nice picture, I've not seen that picture before. Uh, there's the uh, stuff of right head piece and yes, okay. Right, so quickly go through this. There's a temple. That's it. Mm, I don't know what that's called. <laughs> so we're going on to uh, Light Crusade. Yeah. And this, this again, this is something I could scan and actually put in my diary because that looks brilliant. I quite like that. So a lot of this, look, the, the map of Venice as well, that looks pretty cool. I've got to scan that. These bits. It's, it's it's a lot better. These are better than us. It, it's a it's a quite it's, it's a bit large from a grail diary, but I suppose if I could scan them and reduce them, they might look pretty good. And just and this writing, this is all in in, in the grail diary. So I mean, it would fit, I think. And these maps are a lot better what's than that's in the the diary. Do I do have? So I was thinking, yeah. Maybe. There's Elsa. So he does say he does have Webley here. He does have a few different guns though. There's the passports from Germany. And it does say... I, I always wondered what it does say on uh, Indiana's uh, passport, but it does say Indiana Jones. That shouldn't... It sh should be Henry, shouldn't it? It's an official passport. And it's a grill. 
Uh, it goes on to the um, the game. Nineteen thirty nine. So yeah, um, not played that game, but I would like to if I can get hold of it. So that's fine. So we're going on to Crystal Skull. There's the uh, the UFO at Roswell. So it goes right up to uh, Crystal Skull. So I just wonder if they're going to do like a, an update on it or a, I don't know. Maybe I don't know. anyway, we're not look, we're not here to look at. Oh, oh damn it! We're here to look at this. I've just got this. So this is the first time I'm going to be looking at it as well. Obviously, Indiana Jones collectibles are very far, few and far between. Um, I mean, look, <laughs> I'd like to do one of these books myself, and well, try and get everything myself. So there's um, it's a lot of there's not. I don't think there's that many pictures to be honest with you. And the resolution of the pictures is not brilliant. It's not absolutely fantastic. He's got glare on the so the photography on some of these, and yeah, it's not the best. Uh, I think I got this for £12. I'll put a link to this, because this is brand new. I'll put a link to this in the description for Amazon, from Amazon, but I don't know. We haven't I haven't decided if I'm keeping it. I think I'll keep it. I think I will keep it. I'm, it's not something I want to send back, because it's, it is, it's going to be useful. So we're going to get to show you all the vintage figures. And all right, it did come out. I know it came out of the mail away, but I didn't realise it actually came out on the card as well so there is a retro one of those um so the well of the source oh, i'd love that i hope we'll see um indy in his um german outfit don't know why i've not done that she's a cairo brilliant i love that i've always wanted to tell you that the hat is terrible there's the uh razor start game which they, that was the, the, one of the first things they did. And that is the old, the artwork, the fantastic artwork that was uh, done before. Oh, wow. They did an NPC kit. See, I'm, I'm happy already. I will be going on eBay and looking for most of this stuff. Oh, my God. Right, so, oh, we do have another, another game. I wonder if it's, I think it's similar, probably... Probably the same, but they changed the cover. Maybe, oh no, it's different. Mm, so there must been two. I didn't know they did a kit. Very tempted to get that. Um, wow. I might have to cut this video short and just go look for that right now. Wow. Oh my God. So it's like the, the kits they used to get for the Star Wars kits where they were... Um, I think there was the there was Jabba's Palace from Return of the Jedi, but there were the Empire Strikes Back, there was Echo Base, and there was the Battle on Hoth, which I absolutely loved. I painted all, there were very there were miniatures and I painted them. So I'm, I'm thinking this is the same, oh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, and that's just blown me away. So that, that is just, that is something I am going to be looking for now. I don't care how much it's going to cost, I need that. I need that now. <laughs> One of the reasons why I got this book, because like I said there was not many uh, items that came out, especially during raids as well, especially during all the all the the eighties the movies, and we never got that. We never got anything really. We never got the games. Ben Cooper, Ben Cooper, wow, costume and mask. Oh my god, I didn't even know about that. So the novels, I do have the. Uh, Look at that. That must be the first edition. Yeah, it is. First edition. Wow. That would be pretty cool. But I do have I do have the original. I think it was like in gold. Similar to that, but in gold. The making of Ray's Lost Art book. Oh, my God. See? Already. Yeah, that, that it was like that. It was similar to that. I think it was actually. I think it was that one. UK Corgi editions. That's it. The metallic covers. Yes. That's it. That, that I do have. Ah, wow. Random House. Yes, I do have that. Uh, 
I have got on that on my channel if you want to listen to that. It's on my channel. I had the cassette originally back in the day, but I've got the I've got that sealed actually. I've got it sealed. Uh, they do simply do them as well. Uh, the comics that these are the annuals and those are the comics, coloring books. I've seen that on eBay. And I've never seen that before. Uh, color poster. There's the mad that I'm trying to get hold of as well. Starburst, we had the Starburst 2018. Oh, I didn't know we had something like I'm going to have to go and look for all, all this. You do know that now, don't you? I've already looked for looking. I am, I am on, I am the lookout and look out for looking. I've seen one of these. I think it's about £10 on eBay. Now they do a Temple of Doom one, and I think there's a Last Crusade one as well. I think looking went to the late 80s, so but I'm, I'm after that one. Definitely for the Raiders. So there's the comics as well. I'm looking for the comics. I'm looking for everything, to be honest with you. I want to get everything. If I had the full set of Marvel, full run of Marvel, further adventures. Tops cards. Now, I have a packet. I just have a packet. <laughs> I don't have any cards. I would love those cards as well. A full set of those cards would have been really nice to have. I know I'm going to want everything that's in this bloody book. I know that. Great movie stunts and making of... And the making of Raiders Lost Ark. That might be the documentary that I watched on the TV. I, I recorded it and I watched it over and over and over again. A lot of stickers. There's the Atari game, which was absolutely terrible. But I would like to get hold of that. I want to get hold of the games as well. Everything Indiana Jones, I just want to get hold of because there's not that much. So I think it's going to be expensive. There is a sleeping bag. The other day, I've noticed my 12 inch Indy doesn't have a bag. So I was looking for an eBay and that came up. And I'm going to want £500 for it. But yeah, I'd buy, I'd have that. I'd have that in a shot. Definitely. The Japanese poster, I've seen a Japanese poster as well, which I may get. There's a quad poster, I've seen that as well. That's that, that's available on uh, eBay. And not a bad price. Australian promotional sticker, I've seen the arc. Cool. There's a the soundtrack, I do have that. Not the original, the re-release, but yeah. Uh, actual dialogue, m uh, music. Oh, right, that's the, uh, the movie on record. Wow. I've not seen that one. That'd be easy to find. Oh, the Raiders March. That came out on uh, on single, apparently. So we're going on to Templar Dome. Obviously, we've got the LGN figures, which are just phenomenal. Um, some phenomenally priced, should I say? They're not. They're not brilliant, but they're phenomenally priced. I think you're paying maybe three, four, or five hundred pound, especially carded. I mean, loose. That's that loose. Loose. You're paying a lot of loose. Oh, I can electric set. Oh, the Presti Prestigio Magic with this lecture set. So there's a Temple of Doom game as well, which I never saw. A US Jigsaw. Jigsaw. Jigsaw Waddington's Jigsaws. Jigsaw, Jigsaw. Didn't, I've never seen the Waddington Jigsaws. A kite. Yeah. The, ah, yes, a role-playing game. I remember seeing it, but I never got it. But again, that might be something to... To look into, you got the game plus you can get the, the the little lead figures as well, and the uh, from the files of Indiana Jones, the adventures as well. So we've got some more star toys. Now I knew I knew LGN did them, and then uh, there was something else, and it is it's star toys apparently. Um, and you got like a little pack in with it. I'm watching a. That's not an alligator, it's a crocodile, but. Yeah, um, these are probably uh, worth a lot of money as well. I don't say 1939. <laughs> yeah, and you've got a machine gun. Well, you don't know, but there we go. Uh, we've got Indiana Jones walkie talkie set and digital watch. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so we're going into the realms of uh, the fantastic now. Cards, we've got a pinball game. Um and oh Timber Dome stand. 
Oh, that's pretty good. So this is the book, the books. I did have the Templar Dome novel. I did have the official collector's edition. I have just got rid of that uh, Marks and Spencer's annual. Illustrated screenplay. I remember having that because I did a lot of drawings out of that book. Uh, pencil games, puzzle books. These are the books I was talking to Gareth about the other day. I do have number one. I would like to get a full set of these. I had these as a kid. As a kid, eight, 14, something like that, anyway. I had all these. And I don't know if they go up to... I think they, they go into the double figures. It's surely going... But these are really hard to get hold of now. But they're not hard to get hold of. It's just they're very expensive. So I have number one. So I'm looking for these. Cup of the Vampire is pretty easy to get. They're one, probably one of the easiest. Those two, I think. But yeah, and I'm looking for number two. I've got number one. They're not very good. Um, Christmas Day, for about two, two ninety-five. Yeah. Um. So more comics is in the Spider-Man comic there, Temple of Doom comic, and then on to his further adventures. Uh, Poster magazine. I with my Mark Spencer annual, I sold that and that. Those four Indiana Jones. I, what, I should have. I should have kept them really, but I'm not really bothered about. Things like this, to be honest. Titbits, look. <laughs> there, there's, there's one for you, Kieran. Titbits. Wow. Try and get that now. So Starburst, uh, fantastic. I didn't think we were in that. Uh, all the magazines, Mad again. Pretty cool. Again, the tape. I don't think records, I think you can still get it on record. So we've got the tops cards, so we've got the, the launch box. Now, yeah, that would be nice to have. Launch boxes. Whichever condition they're in. We've got a belt, we've got a belt buckle. I remember the belt buckles. There's the, the Atari game. I can remember this on Spectrum. Um, there's the album. I did that, I did that, I have that on cassette. And I played it to death. I think that's that is the, probably the first soundtrack I ever got. Oh, look at this seven up glasses. There you go. They're cool. Calendar. Smith Miss Chris poster. Oh my god, I missed that on that one. I think say I think I remember that. I can't remember having the I don't think I had the poster. So yeah, that that is available on eBay for about forty five pounds. If anybody's looking for that, I don't know if it's, I don't think it's got Indiana Jones on it though. I think it's just that. But it is a quad poster. Oh, look at that! I wonder if they put uh, Temple of Doom on before Raiders then. Victus. <laughs> on to Last Crusade, we've got uh, Viewmaster. Didn't know they did a Viewmaster. I might have to get hold of that one. I know I'm going to say that a lot. Um, and the, in, I, re I remember this, yeah. <laughs> the Indiana Jones knife. Oh, yeah, it's pl French play, so look at that. The Indiana Jones knife. Yes, you could get that. Yes, you could. Um, the, the books of Dance of the Giants is um, they did a lot of novels. That is that is another thing that I did get rid of. Yeah, storybook, junior novels. I see a lot of these on Wolfgang books on eBay. Um, more comics, actual archaeology stuff. Some looking, some more looking. Set. Yeah, that I have seen that on eBay. Yeah, I think that's what you can get that for about a fiver. Um, UK holiday special. That's Crusade Starburst. Cool. A diary. Did I, did I have that? I might have had that, you know. Thinking about it. Uh, there's the um, 
There's the Spectrum one that I was talking about. I'm looking at I'm looking at getting these as well. I want to get all the games. Can't play them, but you know what I mean. Just nice to have. I want to get everything in Dan Jones, have you noticed? Uh Young Indiana Jones Chronicles, all the books. I'm not really bothered about those to go honest with you. Um we're getting quite close to the end of this book. There should be there should be a bit more, but uh, a lot of uh, Indiana Jones Chronicles, young young Indy Chronicles. Um I just got that. Just got that. I'll be reading that. Yeah, there's a lot of novels out there. A lot of com Dark, uh, Dark Horse comics as well. Dark Horse got old. I don't know who's got the um, the license now because I was talking to Gareth about that. The uh, You'd think they'd re-release the Indiana Jones comics or release. I'll make some new ones, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I'm after looking at getting some of those. Obviously. Uh, more Young Indy. They did try to push that. Didn't do very well. It's, that'd be pretty cool to have. And we've got the Manka Machines. That, that's just gone today. There's one, I was watching one today and it went for £50. I would like it. It's not, it's not something that, you know, it's, it, it'd be nice to have. Put it that way. Really nice to have. So we've got the tank, we've got the and there's Indy there. We've got the planes. We've got the boat. We've got the, the flying wing. We've got the cars. We've not got the truck. Where's the truck? What truck? And there's a blimp. <laughs> so those are Cairo. Uh, not the Cairo, the um, Singapore cars, maybe. So where's the um, truck and the car? And there's a mine car. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit, just look, I'm looking at it, I'm, I'm not bothered because it, it's brilliant, the packaging and everything. So uh, we've got the Disneyland exclusive figures there, which are absolutely crap. They are really bad. <laughs> Worse than the LGN. And that's it. Um, that is very disappointing. So Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, as you know, there was a hell of a lot, unless they're going to do a volume two, there was a hell of a lot of stuff that came out. There was more stuff came out for Crystal Skull than any other of the movies. Hasbro, but they sent oh, all these figures and everything. So why? I'm really disappointed by that. I mean, it even shows you on the back clock. So why? Why is it not? After nearly 20 years, very similar to each other, isn't it? But you've not put them in. So the most of the stuff came out in 2008, but it's... It's mostly comics. So that's quite disappointing as a book. And you know me. I love this book. I, I actually I really do like this book. But it's just disappointing that the majority of the stuff came out for Crystal Skull. And since, maybe there's going to be... I'm going to... John Buss. Let's see if we can get in touch with him. And um, see if there's going to be a part two. Because it doesn't say part two, it doesn't. Uh, this really should be a part two. Um, or just wait. Why didn't why didn't he wait? I know why, but I know why he brought this out now because of the film coming out. He's probably rushed it out. Probably that's probably what he did. He thought, oh bloody hell, I better get it out. And just, oh, this is, this is all in here. Yeah. Well, a tiny fraction of the products that appeared in the release of Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. And it's telling you there, it's a tiny fa fraction of the release stuff. When this book is supposed to be Indiana Jones collectibles. So please tell me that you're going to do another one with Crystal Skull stuff and then go and do the Hasbro stuff as well. Because if he doesn't, I will. It means trying to find that, find all the all this. Obviously, I can't, I can't do what I. You can't photograph what you don't have. Maybe he doesn't. I mean, uh, he, just, he he has taken some. Uh, this this is not all his stuff because he has put like there was Vectis there, 
was a poster of Onvectis. Um, so yeah, you can't you can't just put in pictures of somebody else's stuff. Uh, the right of John Williams to identify as author of this work has been asserted in accordance. Blah blah blah. Um, no part of this book may be utilized any form by the many. Yeah, well, I shouldn't. Be, I know I shouldn't be doing this. Those books to two thousand twenty-three. Um, ah, there we go. I th uh, thank the following: the system of the preservation book. Louise Harker, uh, Harker, Louise Harker, is that Louise? Uh, to Vectis. So is little Sammy Museum. Hmm. So it's it's not his stuff. Maybe he didn't have any of this. So I don't know. I'm not going to speculate on that, to be honest with you. Um, so I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. I'm not. 100% happy on it and you know me I will always if something's crap I'll tell you it's crap uh, I'll always be honest with my rev reviews even though I do like this book I will keep it I will read through it I will use it but it's not what it says on the tin is it <laughs> yeah yeah it's quite disappointing unfortunately uh, it, it, it was meant to be 15 and I think I got it for £12. So I will, put, I will put it in the description because it is interesting, um, but it's just not complete, unfortunately. Some of the pictures are... The photography in it is not brilliant. Um, it's not bad. It's not the best thing I've ever seen. Um, I'm going to read it and see what the information is and see what the information is like. And again, I'll report back to you. Probably when I've uh, got another Indiana Jones video coming out, because you know there'd be loads. Anyway, I'm going to let you go, because I've done 27, 28 minutes now uh, on these two books. And um, I really need to uh, start reading this. But, as I say, good book. But, very disappointing. The majority of the toys are coming out Crystal Skull and they're coming out now so whether he's going to do a follow up I will I will, I will track him down and we'll see if he's going to do a follow up and if he isn't maybe we can do it ourselves if they can get hold of that I can get hold of those and obviously I've got all the house bro stuff so I can photograph that we can get this done so thank you for watching I really appreciate it please sum up the video please subscribe if you're new and until next time, the toys be with you. Look, Armando, what? Gentlemen, this is Democracy Manifest.